The Broncos coming off their best season in six years after winning just one game the year before. And while the Spartans will have to deal with Mac Freshman and Offensive Player of the Year, the guy you just saw there, Jarvion Franklin, and a pair of Bolitnikoff watch list wide receivers, that guy, Corey Davis and Daniel Braverman, the man running the offense who will have to distribute the ball and implement P.J. Flex offense will be quarterback Zach Terrell. We're just really looking forward to the challenge, and they're a great team, and we know, you know, we know what they are, and, and I think we kind of last year were a little bit of an unproven commodity, and we still might be this year, but we're just out to, you know, continue to change our best and just focus on, you know, what we can control, and that's just getting better each and every day. You know, what a tremendous opportunity to have Michigan State come to Kalamazoo. What an awesome opportunity to go play the national championships at Ohio State, and um, that's just, you know, that's what you look forward to. Those are the memories that you build, and those are the kind of teams you want to play while you're playing college football. It will be one special, I mean, I've been here for 20 years, and I can't imagine there's going to be any atmosphere like we will see that opening day in Kalamazoo. Uh, yeah, and obviously there's a ton of buzz, and we're really looking forward to having them here. Obviously, like <laughs> Michigan State, they've been successful year in, year out, and, you know, that's a type, that's a type of team that we'd like to replicate, that kind of, you know, year in, year out success, kind of just like them. So it's going to be an awesome opportunity to have them come into Kalamazoo, and for the community and for the school itself, it's just going to be a ton of fun. I know PJ has you guys talking about the process, but, I mean, two years ago they were hoping the team wasn't bad. Last yeah. year they were hoping you were good. Now they're expecting you to be good, and they're expecting big things. How do you guys temper that? You know, we like we like he said. You know, we really just focus on the process, and we don't really listen to the outside noise. We, we you know, we, we do what we need to do, and that's getting better each and every day by changing our best. And coach, coach says it. He preaches it, and you know, we follow and we do what we do. And we can't focus on you know the outside noise or what other people are saying and the expectations people have on us because we have our own expectations. We put enough pressure on ourselves to be successful out on the field, and you know, we're really just focused on getting better as a team and continuing to build our chemistry and um, build that bond between each other. How much is following that process really helped you because I mean two years ago they were writing before the season he may not be the guy he yeah. may be surplanted the guy you really seem to have I mean not only play well but had a command of what was going on last year well obviously confidence is the biggest thing and um, you see that in the offseason that builds but you know having a basically a year and two years under my belt that definitely helps experience helps obviously and um, that is something that's invaluable and that will continue to help me going into this next season and all the young guys that we had play last year you know we have a ton of offensive linemen coming back we've got obviously key skill positions on the offense and then the defense they got a lot of guys returning experience helps and last year we extremely unexperienced and we lacked confidence early in the year and then as that started as we started to win games and started to build that confidence you started to see better result out on the field and that's what we're going to continue to try to build off of is you know that confidence level and just continuing to use that out on the field you have this star running back who sets all these records as a freshman in the backfield you got two wide receivers on the Bolitnikoff list I mean it's kind of a quarterback's dream setup here offensively oh absolutely you know and an offensive line that is bringing back three guys that are, have a ton of experience and are really really good football players and it all starts there you know without the offensive line, you know, we wouldn't be able to do anything that we do. So um, we're, uh, we expect nothing less from another another great offensive line and another great season from them. And then obviously Jarion Franklin, you know, he speaks for himself, obviously opens a lot of things for the passing game. And then Corey Davis and Daniel Braverman open it up for um, Jarvion Franklin. So it really just kind of like it's a give and take. Everybody helps each other. It really is a unit on offense. It's not one man over the other. Everybody really feeds off each other. I mean, there were some decent teams here before PJ came, but how, how fun is it for you guys to be that team that's kind of put the program back on the map here? It's been a lot of fun. You know, it's great for the community. It's great for Western Michigan University because they've given us all such a tremendous opportunity and um, so, to play the game we love and to go to school. You know, it's just it's just awesome to kind of give back and just kind of have an opportunity to, you know, really put the school that we all love to play for on the map and just kind of get them out there and give them the recognition that they deserve.